A nonprofit here in Minnesota is doing everything it can to keep its 10 schools and a medical clinic operating in Haiti, where the government has collapsed. Gangs now rule over Haiti's capital, Port-au-Prince, where the U.S. government has advised Americans to leave and travel is not advised. Jay Coles joins us live in the newsroom after talking today with the man who runs Haiti Empowered out of Lakeville. Jay? Brett, Haiti Empowered says it has 250 staff members still working in a region outside Port-au-Prince. The CEO of the nonprofit in Lakeville tells me they're looking for help as they fight to keep schools open for more than 2,000 children in the middle of a civil war. The U.S. government says gangs now rule Haiti's Port-au-Prince, and most of the country is paralyzed. The United Nations calling it cataclysmic. So it's just complete lawlessness. It's complete crazy, yes. From his home in Lakeville, Haiti Empowered CEO Peter Carlson recalls his last visit prior to the gangs taking over as he hid in the back of a small vehicle. Hiding, got stopped by gangs each time. They're pounding on the door, opening the door, demanding money. And I'm thinking, if we get caught, this is it for us. And frankly, I'd rather they have a machine gun than a machete in their hand. Carlson has not traveled back to Haiti, but he's working hard to keep 10 schools open with 2,500 students and 250 staff workers, including a medical clinic. One of his liaisons, Pastor Gumps Bazile, talked to us from Haiti Sunday as his son, Junior, interpreted. I mean, a lot of violence, as you can hear here from the news, is very, very bad right now. Pastor Bazile says the schools and medical clinic are open, but food, clothing, water, and medical supplies are hard to come by because, he says, gangs either steal them or demand money. This is why um, there is like an inflation. I mean, prices are, are going to the wolf. I mean, let's say um, food prices right now, it's very, very, very expensive. Carlson says there is only one road running north and south and another main road heading east and west in the country. And the only way to get those supplies to the schools and clinic is through gang-controlled checkpoints before it reaches Pastor Bazile. Pastor Bazile is putting his family on the line because if we make a mistake, if we put him in a bad spot, his life is at risk. And Carlson says the best way Minnesotans can help right now is financially, because gangs have drummed up the cost of those supplies. If you're interested, there is a link on our website to Haiti Empowered at KSTP.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jay Coles, 5 Eyewitness News.